Hi, WISO families. This is Kyle Knox. I'm the music director at WISO and I conduct the youth orchestra. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I want to take a moment and just discuss uh, a topic that uh, we've been uh, chatting about in the WISO offices as of late. It has to do with our in-state tours, um, which are happening at the end of February and the beginning of March. This does not apply to the youth orchestra. It's for Opus One, Sinfonietta, Concert Orchestra, and Philharmonia only. Uh, these in-state tours are a long-standing Weiser tradition. Uh, they give our students the opportunity to go out into the community, sometimes within Dane County, sometimes outside of Dane County, to play for their peers in public schools. Um, it, uh, it exposes kids from, from the area to classical music who might otherwise not hear it. Um, it spreads the word of WISO, um, but most importantly, it provides extra performance experience for our kids. Um, and that's like a really critical part of developing as a musician, learning how to play in public, how to refine the music they've been working on in rehearsal. It's just a great, great experience all around. It's a great bonding experience for the kids to be on the buses together, to travel and spend the day doing that kind of a thing. Um, and so it's an experience that we hold near and dear to our hearts and uh, would like to preserve. Um, of course, in light of the pandemic for the last couple of years, those have been put on hold. Um, and um, for reasons I'll explain now, we are um, kind of uh, planning uh, what to do for these upcoming tours at the end of February, beginning of March. Now, um, it would be a little bit less um, controversial if everything were happening in Dane County, however, um, and the, the planning for these tours predated the season and before the current mask mandates were put back into place, et cetera. Um, and so uh, in light of the current situation, we some of the schools that we've been planning to tour to um, uh, do not fall within the school masking mandate. So that doesn't mean that everyone at these um, events at various schools uh, will be unmasked. Many probably will be masked, but they're not mandated in certain cases at certain schools. Um, and so uh, we've done some soul searching internally and deciding whether to go ahead with these performances. Um, and, um, and I can tell you for reasons that, that I'll get into that we've decided that we'd like to go ahead with it. Um, you know, I suspect I'm preaching to the choir uh, to most of you, um, but uh, kids have uh, suffered tremendously over these last couple of years, and we at YSO have been trying to do our part to try to keep the kids whole, to give them performance experiences and in-person programming throughout the pandemic. Um, but, you know, in, in, in subjects and ways that go vastly beyond music, kids have been have suffered and carried a tremendous burden of pandemic shutdowns. Um, and it's been very, very hard on them. I don't need to tell you all that. Um, and so a big part of uh, planning events and planning concerts is actually like, it's not just doing it as an aesthetic and educational experience. It's actually just, it's the ceremony of planning and then fulfilling the expectation of that, of actually following through, planning to do something and then actually doing it, completing the cycle. Um, that, um, whatever you learn from a performance standpoint, just having to meet a deadline and knowing it's going to happen is a crucial part of um, our development and like keeping us all accountable that there's consequences to our actions. Um, and so we feel very strongly that we, um, that we would like to go ahead with these in-state tours. Um, that said, we understand some of you uh, may not be comfortable sending your child to an in-state tour to a school that may have some unmasked children. Um, and so if that's the case, like there's no controversy here, no problem. You, you don't have to participate. If you just let us know, um, we will uh, proceed. And of course, there'll be no penalty that goes without saying for your student as an absence or anything else. That said, uh, we do encourage you all to participate and we suspect to have good participation in these events. Um, in terms of transportation to these events, uh, we'll be using buses the way that we always have in years past. Um, it's very um, costly and kind of inefficient and buses are in short supply. So if we do like um, the most extreme version of social distancing on buses, we'll have to hire more than double the number of buses that we normally would. And for lots of reasons, that's like not very practical. Um, and so we've decided we're just going to go with the number of buses that it takes to get an orchestra to the location on that day. Um, the manner of that social distancing will be consistent with what Madison Public Schools are doing with their own um, uh, school busing. Um, and so, uh, of course, kids will be masked, all that stuff. There'll be no eating on the bus. Um, we'll be following all those normal health guidelines, but we just wanted in the spirit of full transparency to let you know about the schools we'll be visiting, the possibility in some of them that there may be some unmasked kids and that getting to the schools will involve 
relatively full buses with kids wearing masks in the normal manner, etc. Um, again, you can reach out to us individually, and if uh, for, for any reason, no problem, you, you can't be involved, um, there'll be no hard feelings and, and no repercussions. Uh, we, we understand completely we're still in a very difficult time, but uh, we have sort of weighed the cost benefit of this and, and really come down quite strongly on fulfilling this expectation and this promise to the kids and providing these experiences, and we plan on doing so. So um, if you have any uh, questions, uh, or concerns, uh, you can write to the offices. We're very happy uh, to talk more at length about this. And um, otherwise, we look forward to these events and to future events throughout the winter and spring season. Hope you're all doing well. Thanks for your time.